All right, welcome to this trigonometry course on NIU Network. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of what trigonometry is. I'll cover uh, what this course is going to be about, and I'll cover uh, some applications that you will need to know in order to successfully uh, complete this course. So, uh, we're going to get started with what trigonometry is. So, um, so trigonometry it's spelled like this. Um, now, trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that's concerned with the measurements of parts, sides, and angles of triangles. Now, uh, the type of triangle that we're going to be most commonly dealing with is going to be the right triangle, which is a triangle with a 90 degrees angle, so right triangle. We will also be dealing with uh, triangles like um, isosceles triangle, but we'll get into that later because um, we won't be we won't see those type of triangles until we're really deep into the subject. But right now, what I am concerned with is um, talking to you on what trigonometry will help you and what type of a subject of math it is. Now, in this course. And for most of trigonometry, plain trigonometry is what we're going to be focused on. Uh, basically, tra plain trigonometry is it's that uh, it's a it's a part of trigonometry that is focused on triangles lying in a plane. So plane trig. Uh, so just keep that in mind. That is what we're focused on, and that's what we really want to know uh, for trigonometry. And uh, trigonometry, uh, if you don't know, if is based on certain um, ratios, and we'll get much deeper in that in later uh, parts of the course because uh, I have to go over some applications before we can uh, start talking about that because that's all the fun part. Um, now trigonometric functions. Um, are basically the ratios. Now, the ratio, what a ratio is, it's basically a comparison of two values. And those functions are gonna really help us in the problems that we're gonna solve in the future. Now, uh, trigonometry uh, can help you in many ways. Uh, it's an important role in studies of all sorts of vibratory phenomena, including sound, light, electricity, and etc. So, from in sequence of what I just said, it's definitely uh, one of the most important uh, parts of mathematics, and you should definitely know it. Uh, also, for pre-calculus, calculus, and calculus 2, uh, a part of trigonometry uh, is required. So, uh, if you're ready to learn calculus, then um, you definitely should um, know some trig trigonometry, and that will help a lot. So uh, just keep that in mind. And uh, without any more further um, of me speaking here, I'm going to talk about some of the applications. Now, we'll go over a couple in this video, but um, in the next video, we'll be completely focused on that. And uh, that will be what the next big part of this course will be on. So the first part of this course I want to talk about is plane angles. Now what plane angles are is an angle lying in a plane. Just you can figure that out just by its name. So we'll draw a angle right here. Now this plane angle um, is formed. Plane angles are formed with two rays. Uh, and if you don't know yet, rays are just basically Li two line segments with one of the ends uh, going off into infinity. So these are rays. And uh, let's give a name to our uh, angle right here. So let's name it A, B, and C. So uh, right here, this side is the side that we're starting with. If you can see here, this angle is going off in this direction. Uh, so this is the side that we started off with. And in trigonometry terms, this side is called the initial side because that's the side we started off with. So this is called the initial side. 
And this side right here, this side is actually called the terminal side. So just keep that in mind because we will be going back to these in the future. Now, um, if you see here, uh, let's, for example, uh, we'll draw a toward the plane here. I hope you're all familiar with this. Uh, so let's take a look. Now, uh, this right here, if you take a look, uh, this line, this part of this uh, coordinate plane right here, if you have an angle, for example, like this, let me get a new color so we can see that properly. So if there's, so if the angle is like this, then um, this orange side right here would be, uh, would be the initial side. And this would be, again, the terminal side. Uh, now, um, now, if we have, for example, a angle like this, then this side would be the terminal side. Alright, so now uh, we can stop talking about terminal size and initial size, because I think you guys got it. So, uh, for, I have something else I want to go over, is let's say we have a angle like this let me just draw another coordinate plane uh, what if we have an angle like this oops and we have uh, a arrow that points this way now what does that even mean uh, so um, in regular uh, probably for your knowledge um, if you have an angle like this, you would assume the angle goes this way, but actually not. If uh, you're given with an arrow like this, that means the angles instead of going this way, instead of going this way, which is not, which it's not, so it's not going this way. So uh, we can get rid of that. It's actually going backwards, so it's definitely with more than uh, 720 degrees. So with this, no, um. Actually, let me just back up a second. It's actually not more than 720 degrees. But if we're going this way, it's actually uh, going to the negative direction. So remember that. If an angle is going this way, it's actually the measurement is negative. But if the angle is going this way, measurement is positive. So this angle is... is um, actually uh, lower than seven uh, the negative 720 degrees so um, sorry to confuse you there but uh, so if you're given with this arrow uh, it tells you it basically tells you which direction the angle is going but uh, if you're not given with the arrow you can assume that the angle is going in a positive direction which is uh, this way so just don't just remember that because it will really clear up confusion uh, when we're doing problems in the future. So uh, I think that's enough for this video. Um, I know I threw a lot of information in front of your face, so uh, go ahead and get yourself familiar with terminal size and initial size and rays, angles, plane angles, whatnot. Um, just if you need, watch this video again before you move on to the course questions, to the questions uh, for this part of the course. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, then send me a contact email on the course site. Uh, you can definitely contact me if you have any questions. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Good luck, and I'll see you again in the next part of this course.